Let's do it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Wrestling on the Rise, where we talk anything and everything wrestling. I'm your host, Rich Michaels, and on this episode, we're in Etobicoke, Ontario, for Lucha Tio's Plancha Tendencies at the Rock Pile. All right, we have seven awesome matches for you here today. Plus, I got an interview with the King of the North himself, Carter Mason. All right, uh, before we get into it, I need to let you guys know there's a few changes to tonight's card. Uh, John Greed will not be competing today. Instead of a triple threat match here at Lucha Tio, we're going to have a fatal four way for the drunk weight title. All right, so the champ, Jesse Otomo versus Warhead versus Shanomo versus Matt Cash for the drunk weight title. All right, this one is going to be a violent one. Plus, ACH will be here, so stay tuned because we have awesome matches for you ahead. Plus, my interview with Carter Mason. But before we get into it, I need to go over with last week's episode of What Moves You and give you the results. Um, the matchup was uh, the clothesline or the lariat, and the contestants were JBL, Stan Hansen, Tyson Dukes. Kento Kabushi and Satoshi Satoshi Kewo, can we say his name right? Satoshi Kojima. All right, and the results are in, and it's 77.8 percent of you guys voted that JBL has the best clothesline. I want to thank everybody who voted last week, and thank you for everybody who viewed the episode last week. So this week's matchup is gonna make your chin hurt. Trust me. All right. So this week's matchup we got the move is the super kick. All right. The contestants are Shawn Michaels, The Usos, Dolph Ziggler, The Young Bucks, and Mara Fuji. This matchup is going to be awesome. I would love to see what you guys have to say and who you guys vote. So place your votes in the comments below or place your votes on Twitter and Instagram by using the hashtag Wrestling on the Rise. All right. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoy it or dislike it if you guys are haters. Doesn't matter. But now it's time to get into it. Lucha Tio's Plancha Tendencies right here at the Rock Pile. Plus my special interview with the King of the North himself, Carter Mason. Check it out. I'm going. And after you. You reach heights like that, after you reach records like that, you grow into royalty. And now before you, I stand the king of the north, and every king needs a knight. Why not? So introducing to you now, the king of the north, the amazing Canadian Lionel Knight, Northern Touch.
sorry. Oh, you guys did it. What? What? Can I have a word with you for a sec? Who? Who? What happened there? What are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? about? What happened where? Stealing the drunk weight title. Listen, I killed Death Proof, okay? I was wearing that stinking smelling shirt of the Death Proof family. I'm not part of the Death Proof family. I'm doing this because this company no longer exists. And it's because of my good friend, Bill Chase. And this belt right here is going to him. And there's three reasons why. One is because he asked me for it. Two is because I got it. And three is because I don't like it. What is this? What is that? That's disgusting. What's your name, man? Rich Michaels. What? Rich Michaels. I gotta go. I gotta go. I, I gotta go. <laughs> So how are you guys enjoying the action? Awesome, right? All right, so now we're gonna take a break from that and I'm gonna show you guys my interview with the King of the North himself, Carter Mason. Rich Michaels here with Wrestling on the Rise. I am here with the King of the North, Carter Mason and Lionel Knight, now known as the Northern Touch. Uh, Carter, uh, how did you get your name to be the King of the North? 
this is cliche as hell, but you know what I mean? Some, some names you choose and some names choose you. Uh, after 11 years of wrestling, this name found me. Uh, I've evolved into this character. This, this isn't a character. This is what I've done for 11 years. I've gone to companies. I've proven I'm the best. And when they don't want to give it to me, I take it. And I'm going to continue to do that. I like that answer. So you've been fighting all over the world, uh, USA, Germany, Holland, and obviously Canada. Uh, so what's next for you and where to go? Running out of places, right? Uh, the next option is just getting signed somewhere major, and that's what we're trying to do. All right, I see that now with the Northern Touch and all. So what's this next movement here? Are you guys expanding, or is it just going to be a tag team, or...? Like I said, the the King of the North came to be organically. Lionel Knight's been my best friend for 15 years, so this has came to be organically. Uh, whether it's a tag team, whether it evolves beyond that, uh, expansion is is all we're looking to do. Whether it's like I said, the two of us or or a group, you know what I mean? We're we're looking to expand. We're looking to get Europe, Mexico, Japan signed. That's awesome. So, um, yeah, you won a numerous amounts of championships. You're also the longest reigning Lucha T.O. Premier Champion right. at 364 days. Yep. Now, my question is for you. Do you believe the wrestler makes the championship or the championship makes the wrestler? That's a really good question. Uh, and if you had asked me two years ago before I'd won it, I'd, I'd probably have a different answer. Uh, I'd say both because... I made that belt big time, but that belt made me because I had to I had to man up and I had to be a champion and I had a lot of people trying to chase that belt down, you know what I mean? Uh, so, you know what I mean, me and that belt grew together, me and this promotion grew together, you know. I didn't make this, this company, a lot of people made this company, you know what I mean? Um, this company also made a lot of people, me being one of those people. So I'd have to say it does both, if you do it correctly. Perfect. Um, I also were the Northland King of the North champion. Now, I ask you, did they get that from you? Was that belt made specifically for you? What, the best part is it absolutely was not. It was the, the biggest coincidence that could have been. Um, and just kind of solidified that something like destiny to win that belt 100 percent, and not even to win the belt but just the name itself like yes this is this is who you are now you are the king of the north because uh for about a month and a half two months before i, I made the initial change the change started that night that's when i claimed myself the king of the north when i won that belt won that tournament uh, became champion but um I had been hashtagging KOTN on my Twitter and on my Facebook and on my Instagram for two months before that tournament took place and before they even knew they were going to have a championship. It was just supposed to be a tournament, right? And then like two weeks out, they're like, you know what? Whoever wins this tournament is also going to be the champion. Uh, and when he, when he told me the name of it, I'm like, that's really funny because that's my name now. So yeah, no, it was just, it was, if, if there's a destiny, that was, that was destiny. Totally destiny, totally destiny. Yeah. Uh, do you have desire of getting it back? Yeah, absolutely. I have a desire to get it back. I have a desire to claim every championship there is. You know, I've 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 come close to winning championships for on, on rosters I'm not even a part of. Uh, I almost took the Smash Wrestling Championship away from Tyson Dukes, and I've never had a a match for Smash Wrestling. You know, um, if you're the best, I'm coming for you. Period. Well, there you have it. King of the North, Carter Mason, Lionel Knight, the Northern Touch. I'm Rich Michaels. This is Wrestling on the Rise. Peace. Well, that's the end of the show, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to vote and like the video, but make sure you vote for what moves you on Twitter or Instagram at Wrestling on the One. Don't forget to use the hashtag at Wrestling on the Rise and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, next week's episode, I'm going to have a surprise for you, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Rich Michaels. Peace. See you next week.